a common question I get asked is, how do you get to the top of the Google search results page? And some people say, hey, hey, how do I get to the top of the Google search results page for free? So this is what I'm gonna uncover in this video. I'm gonna show you the Google page anatomy itself. And then I'm gonna show you the differences of how the Google page is actually laid out, which parts of the Google page you've got to pay for, and which parts are absolutely free. I'm also gonna show you how you conduct something called keyword research. Before I do, my name is AJ Duna. I'm a Google ad specialist. What I'd like you to do is hit that subscribe button so when I do create new content, you know, you'll be the first to be notified. So if you're a business owner and you want to know how you can get more leads or more sales into your business, then subscribe on the channel because I do create, create at least one video every single week in order to help businesses just like yours to get more sales and more conversions. So let's get into it. How do you get to the top of the Google search results page? The first thing that you need to do is to know what keywords you want to be at the top of the search results page for. Now, I have got other videos which go into detail, so I'm not gonna go too much into detail about what keywords are, but basically, let's say, for example, if, you're, if you've got a, a business whereby you tint car windows, what you want to know, what we want to do is you wanna find out what other words revolve around window tinting that you can be listed at the top of the Google page because nobody's gonna be searching for your company name. You need, to, you need to put on the hat of your end user who doesn't know your company, but they're just looking for a particular service. So what I suggest you do is use a tool. For example, you can use Uber Suggest or you can use the Google Keyword Planner. There's a whole load of tools that you can use to work out what keywords are most suitable for your business. So let me give you a quick demo of keyword research first. So over here, I'm gonna go on to Uber Suggest, which forwards to this domain, and you type in your, your service. For example, if we do window tinting, I'm gonna type in window tinting in here. Select your country, whichever country you reside in. So I'm gonna select UK, and then click on the search search button here. And as you can see now, what the tool has done, it's given me so, some data, but I'm not gonna go too much into the data, but basically it shows how many times it's searched for on average per month and um, what, how difficult it is to get it listed within the SEO section of Google, what your average, what you would pay per click and so on. But I'm not gonna go into that too much now. What I do wanna show you is this section here, which shows the keyword. So it's given me ideas that, hey, if you, got a window tinting company, then one of the words that you can use is window tinting near me, which gets searched on average 18,000 times per month. On Google, it's going to cost you about 87 pence per click, but then it's giving you more ideas like window tinting car, window tinting film, window tinting for houses, and so on. So let's say, for example, if we decide, hey, we want to go for the keyword, which is window tinting near me. So I'm going to go to Google now, and I'm gonna type in window tinting near me. So window tinting near me. Press enter. Okay, so this is the search results page that we get, so the Google search results page. This is the way it works. So you can see a, a word here called sponsored, and you can see another one here called sponsored, and another one. So you can get up to three, uh, um, sorry, you can get up to four sponsored links at the top of the Google page here. What this really means is that this company, these, these three companies have actually paid to be at the top of the Google page. And what I mean by paying is you can allocate a budget. So you can say to Google, I want to spend 300 pounds a month on my advertisement costs. So what Google will do is it will break that 300 down to uh, daily, which is around about ten pounds per day, so you can give Google a whole lot of keywords like window window tinting near me, or window window tinting services near me, or car window tinting, uh, Wolverhampton or Birmingham or London. So you can give Google a whole lot of keywords, and then what you can say to Google is, it's, if somebody searches my keyword and they're within my location area. What I want to do is I want my business to be listed at the top of the Google page, like it is over here. So this is what these people have done. If somebody then 
types that keyword in, like we typed in window tinting near me, they read your ad, they like what you are saying, and they click on your ad. At that point in time, Google will charge you, and they will charge you out of your Google advertisement budget. So for that £10 a day, they might might deduct, for example, 50 pence or 80, or 80 pence, which means that you've got about £9.20 or £9.50 left. And that cycle will continue until your budget hits zero for the day, and then your ads will then stop for that particular day. And next day, it will carry on again. Now, you might now say, hey, so how come this company is listed to position number one, position number two, and position number three? Well, that depends on how well your Google Ads campaign has been optimized. It's like optimizing, it's like tuning your car engine. The better it is tuned, the, the more likely your ads are going to appear at the top of the Google page. And it is complicated. It's not that simple, which is what we do for, which is why we do this for our customers. So our customers come to us and say, hey, we want to be listed at the top of the Google page. How can you do it? And then we do all the optimization on their behalf to make sure that they're listed at the top of the Google page. Now, the other thing, the other way, so, so basically what we're saying is that to be listed here, you have to pay. There is no shortcut. You have to pay an advertisement fee, okay, an advertisement budget. Now, the other way you can get listed almost at the top of the Google page is this section here. And this is called the Google Business Profile. Some people know it as the Google Map section or, or Google My Business, as it used to be called. But essentially, what happens is these are people that are now optimized their uh, their profiles to be listed on the Google business profile section. So you've got a listing here, a listing here, and listing here. Now, regardless of how many times somebody clicks on these listings, it's not going to cost this business owner even one single pence. And same for this business and same for this business here. Now, now you might say, hey, isn't that great? You know, why would I pay Google ads to be listed here? whereas I can get absolutely free clicks from here. Well, here's the answer. Everybody wants to be listed for free. Nobody wants to pay really, yeah? Uh, so as a result of that, to get listed into this section here, it takes a lot longer. It could take months and months to get your business listed here because everybody's fighting for that top, top three spot, which is called the local three pack. So everyone's fighting for, for, for these areas here. And you have got a button here called More Businesses. So if you click on More Businesses, then what you'll see is you'll see the, the, these companies here who are all trying to fight for that top spot here, but they haven't really got it. So essentially what you're doing is you'll pay to be at the very top of the Google page, you have to pay. You have to pay Google and it's a platform. You do it using a platform called Google Ads. Now. Another thing to take into account is over here, you can, you, your business can typically be listed in this section within 24 hours. Okay, we normally say to our customers, give us at least a week to get listed within the section because we like to do it properly. We like to do our research really properly. We like to do other things. We like to check your website, give you some advice on your website, your landing pages, get the tracking code so we can do give you great reporting. Now. Another thing to really take into account about getting listed into this section here is if you outsource the work to an agency or a freelancer, then there's two sets of fees that you're going to have to pay. Firstly, it's going to be your advertisement cost, which is what will go directly to Google. And the second cost you'll be paying is for the management of your Google Ads optimization. So basically, if we were to optimize your Google Ads campaign, then we would charge you our management fee. So what you're really doing is you're paying a management fee plus an advertisement fee. You can, of course, go to Google and start doing it all yourself, which will save you out on the management fee. But we do this for a living. We do it every single day. We've got years and years of experience of how to do it properly. The chances are, if you try it, there's a good chance that you'll be doing a lot of guesswork. And as a result of that, you could end up burning a lot of your money because your account has not been optimized properly. OK, 
Okay, so that's the advantage. So I really do take that into account that unless you're an expert, I really wouldn't attempt Google Ads because it will burn away a lot of your money. So in summary, to be listed at the top of the top, very top of the Google search results page, you have to use Google Ads. It used to be called Google AdWords, and then you're paying a your you could allocate a, a monthly management uh, monthly advertisement cost, and that monthly advertisement cost is broken down into a daily advertisement cost. Like I said, for ex for example, ten pounds a day. On top of that, you're paying for your management, whoever whoever you've outsourced the work to. And over here, in this section here, you're only paying for the management fee. You're not paying for the ad spend. I'm just going to make it a little bit more complicated. In this section here, we can also use Google Ads to get you listed over here. So even though they've only got three listings here, we can get your listing at the very top here using Google Ads. So if someone does click on that listing, even though it's on the Google Maps section, it will then... Uh, Google will then charge you, but the advantage that you've got is that rather than waiting months and months, you've got your business listed here, typically within hours or sorry, within days, uh, if not like maybe around about a week. So you've got that advantage rather than waiting months and months and months. So guys, so it's it's a, it's a judgment call that you got to make. Are you willing to wait months and months to to get into this section here, which everyone's fighting for? Or do you want to get here quickly? You could, of course, use a combination of strategies because getting listed at the top of the Google page is a short to long-term strategy. Over here, it's a medium to long-term strategy. So it's an, it, it doesn't happen straight away, but it is more for longer-term strategy. Because what that means is that once you're listed in this section, even though it could take time to get listed in this, in this section, then you're not dependent on Google Ads. You're not dependent on constantly paying someone to be listed here. You can, of course, be listed in both sections. You can get listed here and you can get listed here. It all depends around your budget. So when we, when our customers come to us and they say we want to get listed at the top of the Google page, one of the key factors which determines where we advertise or spend a lot of our time to promote our customers' uh, listings or their business is dependent on the budget. So if you've got a greater budget, we might say, hey, let's go for a short-term strategy and a long-term strategy. But if, if you've got a very sh a small budget, then it'll be a choice of either going for Google Ads, whereby you're paying a management fee plus an advertisement fee, or you're going for an interim strategy, interim to long-term strategy, which is your Google Maps section. Just to make it a little bit more complicated, if you do scroll down the page over here, you've got your organic listings. So these are typically done using something called SEO, which is search engine optimization. And again, it takes a long time, a lot of effort to get listed within the first page of the organic section of Google. Uh, but once you're there, you keep getting clicks for absolutely free, but it is a longer term strategy. Which strategy you use really depends on your goals, your objectives, and your budget. So if you are interested in promoting your business, you wanna get at the top of the Google page to get yourself more leads, more inquiries, just drop us a line. There'll be our contact details in the description below. Click, uh, click on it, schedule a time to talk to either myself or a member of our team, and we'll guide you in terms of how you can get uh, listed at the top of the Google page and we'll also tell you other things that you need to do that in terms of like your reporting, your tracking, uh, what type of numbers, uh, you know, how many leads you, you want to generate per week or per day, your cost per leads and so on. So we'll educate you about all these things and then we'll put together a strategy for you. So it takes out your guesswork and it basically fast tracks your business to success. So you get leads and inquiries flowing into your business a lot more faster because you're taking out all the guesswork. And at the same time, what you can also do, you can choose to invest in learning Google Ads yourself, get a hold of a copy of my book called How to Win Customers with Google Ads. There'll be a link in the description below. It can be shipped to your door. The only thing you need to do is to cover the postage and packaging. Guys, do remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit the sub subscribe button now because 70% of people who watch my videos on a repeated basis are not subscribed and yet they're consuming 
the content that I'm producing on a weekly basis. So click the subscribe button. So when I do create new content, you'll be the first to be notified. That's all. And look forward to seeing you on another show. Goodbye for now.